sponsored by Surfshark. <laughs> well, well, well. Yet again, Dream manages to find himself in scrutiny. And somehow, even with his op saying all the big Twitter no-nos, he's still losing! I won't be explaining the drama, there's plenty of videos out there that already explain everything. Heck, give it another week or two and I'm sure Sunny V2 will make a video on it. <laughs> No, I'm here to simply take advantage of the algorithm. Although I'm like three weeks off, so... Yeah. <laughs> now I made a video about this webtoon over a year ago when I was first starting with the webtoon content. And of course, I didn't like it cause well, look at the title. However, gotta give the creator of the webtoon credit, they were actually cool about the video I made about the webtoon. So no matter what we all think about the webtoon, we gotta acknowledge how cool the creator is. Anyway, since the video was so long ago, I'm pretty sure a decent chunk of you haven't seen the previous video, so I'll just give a quick recap. So Dream and George split up, and Dream doesn't know what he did despite being the very definition of toxic. Dream and George are very mad at each other, but refuse to talk about it because they're all whiny babies. George gets new friends, and Dream wants them all taken out. Yeah, there's not really much to the last 10 episodes. But before I continue with this video, it's about time. Yes, guys, we have truly made it! I can say the line! Add time. Wow, I can't believe I managed to bring this girl back home with me. Am I the luckiest man alive? Although, it was kind of weird that she only talked about the show with the funny scientist. Meh, I guess it doesn't matter so long as she's here. Now don't worry, babe. I'll put on Rick and Morty in Netflix. No! Wait, what? There's no way! I swear my friend from the United Kingdom said Rick and Morty was on there! Huh? What are you- Oh, come on! I swear I'll get it, babe! No! I'm gonna die on my Don't let this guy be you. Instead, use the help of today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN that does various things. For example, little Johnny here is chilling in a cafe using the internet. What was his mistake? He was in a cafe. Normally I'd agree with you, but see, in this case, Johnny isn't using Surfshark. <laughs> now the evil hacker can steal all of his personal information. <laughs> Now if he had Surfshark with him, Surfshark would encrypt and help secure his data, meaning Hacker Man gets neg. But wait, that's not all. Let's go back to Homeboy over here. <laughs> hey! Huh? If you get Surfshark, all your problems will be solved! Wait. What do you mean? Well, let me show you how. As you can see here, I'm using Surfshark to change my virtual location. So now we're going from the US to the UK. And what's that right there? <gasps> Please tell me how I can get it. I'm glad you asked. Go to the description or pinned comment to not only get Surfshark, but if you use code Chalupa, you'll gain an extra six months for free. That's half a year of free VPN, dog. That's hard to come by. Not to mention, Surfshark can also be used on an unlimited amount of devices. You can be using it on this, this, and even this if you somehow manage to figure it out. Also, if for whatever reason you don't feel like keeping it, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there seriously isn't much reason not to get Surfshark. Now let's get back to this guy. He just did everything I said and is now on the UK Netflix servers. Jeffrey Dahmer? Hey bro, look over there! Yeah! We're watching Richard and Mortimer tonight! It's called Rick and Morty. If you can't say it right, then I'm leaving. Hey man, that was all you. Use the links in the description and pinned comments and use code CHALUPA to gain an extra six months of Surfshark. Add over. Anyways, I think that's enough intro. So with that being said, let's get right into this webtoon. Dream just finished catching Sapnap up with what's going on, and even after all the bias with his explanations, Sapnap can already tell Dream is being a big baby. 
Sapnap doubts Carl looks that good, until he looks at him and is immediately infatuated. Okay, do not take this the wrong way, but... Seriously. Bro is the average theater kid, and Sapnap thinks blood looks like... While Sapnap is ogling at Carl, Dream yells at him to help him with his own romance. Yes, that's right, your problems are trivial when Dream is in the room. Oh, what's that? Quite literally every bad thing happened to you? Doesn't matter, gotta help Dream get back with his ex. Carl goes up to Dream and now he finally reveals his actual personality as he patronizes the crap out of Dream. See? I predicted it! He didn't really do anything bad the last 10 episodes so I didn't have anything against him. But I knew that somehow, some way, his character will become pure slop. Then again, he is saying this to Dream. <laughs> Carl enlists the help of both Dream and Sapnap to make a clothing section for their college store. Since both Carl and Dream have trash personalities, they unify to create a dumpster's worth of toxicity, with Sapnap as the trash man. Once Sapnap leaves the room, Carl tells Dream he should leave George alone, and of course, Dream is getting ready to turn into an analog horror monster. Carl then says that George is self-centered, while Dream seems nice, then... Dream asks why he would be confessing all these feelings to him when they just formally met, and Carl says he's been looking at him from afar for a while. <laughs> why would you say that to him? The conversation feels like... 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment 6. Carl keeps on confessing more feelings before eventually... I'm not saying it. And wow, cucking in a dream webtoon, this is a first. Dream has apparently instantly gotten over George for Carl and is just rubbing it in Sapnap's face. Sapnap says, aren't they taking it a bit too fast? And Dream clearly doesn't care about what he just said. No, no, he's right. This is most certainly way too quick. Actually, I'll give you guys some advice. Many people are confused between a love life and a lust life. Rather than think with their minds, they- Chalupa, don't tell me you forgot about our fight at 4 p.m. Oh, right. <laughs> Sapnap is of course angry at Dream for cucking him, and Dream is somehow unaware as to what he's doing. Dog, it was like two chapters ago that he was trying to get Sapnap ready for war, and then the moment Carl confessed, he thinks everything sunshines and lollipops. They're finally doing the photo shoot, and apparently the word about Dream and Carl has made it to George already. And George somehow isn't happy that Dream isn't gonna bother him, but is instead angry, because clearly the first chapter insinuated this was just a slight little break. Eventually, George gets heated and cusses at Carl. Alright, finally, some action in these Dream webtoons. Everyone get a snack, turn up the volume, cause we're about to bear witness to the lamest, most estrogen inducing fight anyone has laid their eyes on. Right before the cat fight is about to begin, Will interrupts and defuses the situation with food. They go over to Punt's place to ask him why he wasn't at rehearsal. Then out of nowhere, Sapnap barges through like he owns the place, and then we see Punt's having a relationship with this guy, I don't know Dream SMP. And as is usual with these videos, let's see what the comment section says. Uh-huh. Ew. Too easy. They're all discussing puns and that guy being a thing, and then a new guy walks in. I have not even the slightest clue who he's supposed to be, but thankfully the creator thought that this would happen and put character descriptions. And lo and behold, this is Corpse Husband. This poor, poor, unfortunate man. You know, I used to actually watch his scary story videos back when I was watching a crap ton of horror stuff. But then, the one video with the funny spaceman changed EVERYTHING! After that, it was just 14-year-old girls dying over him breathing. 
One could only imagine Corpse's life without Among Us. Nice house. Car. Dog. George and Corpse are arguing about George's behavior and how it may affect the band. George says he's got it all under control and no he doesn't. Then when they start doing another photo shoot, George is clearly still frustrated with Carl. They start to bring up their past, which at this point we know nothing about, but I'll assume they both fought in Vietnam and were in love. Then wow, the adultery in this webtoon is unreal. But jeez, did I have a good feeling when I said Carl was going to have something happen to him. Carl went from unassuming guy in society to the average Redditor on their days off. <laughs> Carl realizes there's consequences to his actions. That's all I'm going to say. Ain't no way am I going to read that anymore. Now first things first, I feel like the toxicity of these 10 episodes within the main cast was amped up. The last 10 episodes, it was mainly Dream that was the toxic one, and now Carl and George are trying to outdo him. So it's not like Dream wasn't swinging, cause he most definitely was awful these 10 episodes, what with the cucking sapnap. Then there's how quickly these relationships form. They say I like you once and are instantly swapping saliva. And these guys wonder why their relationships are hot garbage. Think with this dog, not with what's between your legs! Also, considering how cool the creator was, I do trust that her future writing was better. Honestly, all you gotta do is make me actually like these characters and I might truly give it a shot. Well, that and make them go from dream SMP characters to... I don't know, I'll just put up some random characters. Anyone would be better than the Dream SMP. Honestly, not much more I can say. Most of what I needed to say I either already said this video or the last. So I guess I'll finish it off with this. Get Surfshark today and use code Chalupa to get an extra six months for free. Anyways, I'd say that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety, and a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Seriously, the VPN is neat. I've tried it out, and I'm genuinely shocked that I haven't done this sooner. At least try it guys, with a 30 day money back guarantee, there's seriously zero risk. If you guys like this video, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you guys haven't already, then consider joining the channel membership to guarantee I heart and reply to your comment. Also, join the Discord server to rig the election. If you guys have any video suggestions or any other webtoons you'd like me to read, then please leave it in the comments section below. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.